everyone, my name is Chris Marty, also known as The Rebate Guy, and we've been fortunate for the last eight years to be helping people save thousands of dollars when they buy and sell new home construction, resale homes, any type of real estate at all in the San Antonio and New Braunfels area. Today, we're gonna change it up a little bit, and we're gonna talk about the area that we love so, so much, which is New Braunfels. Through our rebate and discount programs, we've helped over 2,500 people relocate to this area, and we love it. I've lived here for over 10 years. I love New Braunfels, I love everything about it, but we realized that we haven't spent a lot of time talking about why do I love it and why should you love it, right? What are some of the cool things that we like to do here that a lot of our clients and people that have moved to the area like to do? So the purpose of this video is to show you so many of the things that I love about New Braunfels, which started as a small town, but now it's not so small. But that's great because it's a great place to live. It's a great place to be with so much to offer. So today's video, we're gonna go all around the downtown area and highlight what makes our little downtown so great and some of the things to do here that I personally love to enjoy and we hope you'll love to enjoy as well. So one of the coolest things about the downtown New Braunfels area is all of the designated historic landmarks, such as the one behind me, the Brontex Theater. Still in use today, the Brontex Theater hosts multiple musicals and different shows throughout the years also smaller concert venues, and so, so much more. So if you ever get an opportunity to come here to the Brontex, definitely make sure it's a stop on your list because you are quite literally going back in time when you step into this theater. All right, so right behind me is a really cool trio of businesses. Starting off on the far left, we have Moonshine and Ale, which is a really, really cool live piano bar. So it's single piano, no dueling pianos, but still extremely cool. And they're playing all of your favorites there. If you've ever been to a piano bar, especially on Friday and Saturday nights, it gets rowdy in there in a good way. Uh, a lot, a lot of great upbeat tunes, a lot of singing, a lot of dancing, and it's a great time here at Moonshine and Ale. In between that is neat because we've got this locally started, this isn't a chain, Scoop Street is a local started dessert shop serving different kinds of ice creams and milkshakes and desserts and treats here. Uh, again, owned by one of the local business owners here in town. Really nice, great spot to take my kids. I like to go there all the time and uh, try their different flavors because they're always inventing new stuff and rotating in and out. Lastly, right behind me as well, is one of the oldest barber shops in New Braunfels. Again, still where it was in downtown New Braunfels, still located here and great service, excellent. You sit in the chair, they're giving you your full shave and so, so much more at the local barber shop. Don't miss it. All right, how cool is this next stop, Henny Hardware? Almost 150 years old, still in its original location. This store is still a hardware store. So a lot of the different buildings, while they're historic designated, has had new tenants come in and been very modernized. But when you walk in here, it is still OG a downtown New Braunfels hardware store selling any type of tools and equipment that you may need right here where they first started almost 150 years ago. Make sure you check them out. All right, so right behind me, the tall building in the back, that is the Comal County New Braunfels Courthouse. It is still used today, still actively have jury duty there and different trials and cases that are there. But again, so, so much history. It's really cool that they have this building back here. And when you walk in there, it is a blast from the past again. Like we've talked about in some of the other spots in the video, there's a lot of history in that building. They've got a great public record center where they've got all the public records dating back for hundreds of years in the city of New Braunfels and so much history in that building. And it's nice because it's right off, again, the downtown roundabout gazebo area, but there's so much history in there and definitely needs to be a cool place that, again, you voluntarily go. You don't wanna involuntarily go there. So definitely check it out on your own time uh, before somebody makes you go there. All right, so let's talk a little bit about food and dining in the downtown New Braunfels area. If you're looking for high-end signature dining, that's right behind me, Myron's Prime Steakhouse. It's not really a chain. There are two locations, one in San Antonio, one here, uh, but this location is great. This is about the best that it gets in downtown New Braunfels and even actually any New Braunfels for high-end steakhouse dining. They only serve Prime here. It's wonderful. We go here for any type of like birthday celebrations or high-end business meetings. A lot of business is done in those four walls right there inside Myron's. So if you're looking for a great prime steak and seafood type dinner, Myron's downtown New Braunfels, don't miss it. Another can't miss stop on our downtown tour are the two establishments behind me, the Oyster Bar and Bootleggers. Same owner for both, totally different concepts. On the left side, you have Bootleggers, an amazing pizza joint. They're doing scratch pizzas in there, amazing garlic bread, amazing salads. It's an amazing spot for dinner lunches, anything that you're looking for pizza related, bootleggers can't miss it. On the right side, Oyster Bar, you might see Oyster Bar and be a little deceived, hey, nightlife going out. That's true, and they've got some of the best breakfast shots as they call them in New Braunfels, where it's a shot of uh, Jameson, a shot of bacon, and then a shot of orange juice at the end, so can't miss those. But going back to it, they actually have a really, really good menu. 
for lunch or dinner. They've got some great stuff there. Oyster Bar, of course, they're serving oysters. They've got some great uh, seafood options as well, but then they have your bar staples. And again, another place that I've eaten at many times. So don't be deceived and don't miss either of these great establishments owned by the same wonderful guy. Continuing on our tour of downtown dining, one of the best places to eat right behind me, McAdoo's. And what's neat about McAdoo's is a history that goes behind it, starting with the building that McAdoo's is located in. This building used to be the old post office for the city of New Braunfels. This is the original one before it moved further down onto South Seguin Avenue. And so McAdoo's was able to come in, preserve the historic building, and open their amazing high-end seafood restaurant. If you're looking for fondue, you're looking for gumbo, or anything in between, McAdoo's has to be on your list. Again, great for all occasions for dining. A lot of different great lunches and dinners we've had here. Definitely don't miss them on your downtown tour. All right, this is a personal favorite of mine, and we are adding this to this video because of how much I happen to love the establishment behind me, El Tapatio. They're downtown as well, so they are a downtown business located off the beaten path. I love their food. If definitely, if you're looking for wholeheartedly siege plate, Mexican dining, Mexican cuisine, this spot you cannot miss. I eat here for lunch probably every day for six, seven years, and the food is incredible. I enjoy a lot of it. So if you're looking for like a good, cheap, inexpensive meal that's gonna fill you up, the chips, the salsa, the drinks, everything that they have to offer here, definitely check out Al Tapatio, located just in the downtown area. Don't miss it. So in the downtown area, we're fortunate enough to have not one, but two amazing bakeries that are baking all sorts of, again, amazing high-end desserts, great food, great bread rolls, and so many different things that exist at the bakery. We're at one of the two behind me, Two Tarts Bakery. It's newer than Naglins. We'll talk about Naglins in a little bit, but Two Tarts, it can't be something that you miss. You have to stop here. They, their dessert game is excellent. I come here for different cakes, different cookies. Uh, they've got amazing cupcakes. They also have a really great coffee bar. And what's neat about them is that they've actually got lounge space in there. So you're able to kind of come, order your sweets, order your treats and your coffee and kind of sit, take a load off, read a book and relax. It is definitely way better than any type of commercial coffee chain. Uh, make sure that Two Tarts is one of the stops that you make on your next downtown New Braunfels visit. Okay guys, so bakery number two, Naglin's Bakery, right behind me, the oldest bakery in Texas. This bakery has been here for a minute. They still bake everything upstairs and in the back. It's great, it's authentic, you can't miss it. They have such good bread, such good treats, and my kid's favorite, the little uh, sugar cookies. They've got like smiley faces on them with the icing and the smiley faces, they're great. And they serve amazing breakfast, kolaches, and so, so much more. Make sure you catch Naglin's on your next visit to New Braunfels. Okay, we're located on the banks of our roundabout. For those of you who don't know what a roundabout is, it is a circular road pattern. Most confusing thing to drive on for our out of town guests, but when you live here, you figure it out pretty quickly. And kind of on the outside of the roundabout, we call it the circle in New Braunfels for local talk, uh, there is New Braunfels Coffee. And so this is a local coffee spot right here on the corner. Really, really nice, especially during some of the downtown events and holidays, which we will talk about shortly in the video. And it's nice because you're able to talk or sit here and get a hot chocolate, a coffee, relax. They serve great breakfast in the morning and so many great options, especially if you're wanting to just relax and sit corner side here in the downtown area. Definitely check them out on your next visit list. Our last stop on our downtown food tour is one of the cool newer spots in New Braunfels behind me, Muck and Fuss. I say newer, it's been here a couple years and we haven't had a ton of new restaurants open in the downtown area, but that's quickly changing. A lot of new stuff's on the horizon, but Muck and Fuss behind me took the scene by storm. They created a craft burger restaurant. So if you come here and you look at the menu, all of the dishes are these like custom craft, juicy burgers, all sorts of different toppings and crazy stuff. My personal favorite, the steakhouse burger, that's got your onion rings on it and, and steak sauce on there on the big burger bun. Really amazing establishment. It's great, they've got a little bit of an inside, but huge outside, great place to eat and dine and trying your Braunfels dining. Definitely don't miss Muck and Fuss on your next stop. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about nightlife in downtown New Braunfels. So if you're somebody that likes to go out on Friday and Saturday nights, have a couple drinks and have a good time, we talked about moonshine and ale a little bit in the video, but talking about the rest of the nightlife, there's all sorts of different avenues and kind of genres of music and different styles of bars and entertainment in the downtown area. So again, depending on kind of what your scene is, if you will, there's lots of different options. If you want something more casual, more a little upbeat, more hip hop, more of country, all sorts of different options available here in the downtown area. Highlighting one of them, especially if you're looking for that country and live music feel, is the Phoenix Saloon. It's one of the oldest bars in New Braunfels, and it actually dates all the way back to the areas of Prohibition, 
where they were talking about having an underground kind of railroad system down there onto the streets of downtown New Braunfels where they're having liquor and different booze and stuff during the prohibition periods. And that is still down there today, the different tunnels that connect to the bottom of the Phoenix. So really cool history. And when you go in there, it features like a huge bar top all made out of wood that runs the whole length of the main, the original main room. It's got the original ceilings, your wood floors, and it just feels very, very much again, like you're going back in time to one of the old saloons in the past. So again, Phoenix, great after this year, great live music, great entertainment, great place to spend a Friday and Saturday night. All right, so continuing on our nightlife tour, we talked about a lot of the existing, kind of the older bars that have been here. And again, there's so many great spots downtown. We're not gonna be able to capture them all in this video, but let's talk about something that's coming brand, brand new right behind me. Cowboys and Cadillacs rooftop bar under construction now that's gonna open on the rooftops of the building behind me. And what's great about this nightlife spot is it's actually partly owned by a local, Randy Rogers. So for those country fans that are familiar with the Randy Rogers band, Randy Rogers is gonna be investing into this spot. This is gonna be one of his projects that he's working on and it will have a great, great nightlife feel to you in the downtown New Braunfels area coming soon. Let's talk a little bit about downtown shopping. We've talked a lot about dining and some of the different things to do down here, but there are so many little shops and boutiques like the great one behind me, Water to Wine. So highlighting Water to Wine for a second, it's a really, really cool place where they serve, of course, their handmade wine, but then you can actually make your own wine here. You can actually like kind of do like a little class or a little party where you come in and make your own wine. They bottle it up and, and do all the stuff to make wine and they'll hand it back to you when it's ready. So really, really neat experience here, but that's not the only thing, guys. So if you're looking to shop and just get anything from clothing to apparel to antiques to uh, taxidermy toward, to anything really, all of these downtown shops have all of this and more. There's a toy store down here. There's a bike shop down here. All sorts of, again, little clothing boutiques and different things and so many different styles, so many different flavors and so many options. There are so many great businesses all owned by local people here in town, down in this area. We don't have time to highlight them all, but please make sure that you're shopping local. Visit these stores, stop in, check them out and get some goods because there is so, so much that these businesses have to offer to you, whether you're local or whether you're visiting. So if you're not local, or even if you are local and you're looking to do a little bit of a staycation, the downtown area has a ton of Airbnbs in different places where you can stay and rent some homes and rent a room uh, for some overnight stays. We also have two huge downtown hotels really, but they're really cool. And this one behind me is the Prince Psalms Inn. So if you don't know, New Braunfels is the city of a prince. That's kind of our tagline. And it's because there are some founding families that came from Germany to New Braunfels, right? They came from Braunfels, New Braunfels, they're here. And Prince Solomon was one of those original founding members. And so this is Prince Solomon Inn, named after him. And it's a really, really cool bed and breakfast. Amazing history inside these walls. And they have a bar on the first floor called Sidecar. It's an underground kind of speakeasy craft cocktail bar. And it's great because even if you get a drink from down there at Sidecar, you can actually walk up the stairs into the lobby of the Prince Solomon Inn and sit in the historic rooms that exist within this establishment here. This is a significant history, part of New Braunfels, again, one of the historic designated landmarks of the city. So if you're looking for a place to stay with a lot, a lot of character, don't miss the Prince Psalms Inn. This right behind me is the Faust Hotel, the second of the two major hotels, if you will, that we have in the downtown New Braunfels area. The Faust as well, a lot of history, and they're actually going through a full multi-year renovation right now. They'll be closed until 2025, where they're redoing essentially the entire inside of the hotel. Their lobby is great. They had a great pub and bar that was on the first floor. And so we're excited to see the changes that are being made to this hotel when it reopens in 2025. But once it's open, guys, again, another great option to stay to be local to the action and everything that's going on in our downtown. So let's talk about the events and the downtown kind of seasonal things that they do. So we love excuses to close this circle here in New Braunfels. We want any type of event, any type of party and any reason to close this road. Because again, like I mentioned earlier, it is so confusing for people to drive on. And so because of that, they do a lot of great downtown events. We've got a great downtown association that hosts a lot of them. And you can also do some different ones as well and kind of apply with the city to run your own event. There was a Christmas parade for a couple of years that was going on. And uh, they do every year, they do Day of the Dead. They do Wassail Fest. They do Wine and Sanger Fest during the summer. So, so many great events down here. And they all start here in the middle of the downtown area. And so one of the ones that's coming up for the time this video was filmed is the lighting of the Christmas tree. And so here, Every year they set up this whole downtown area with lights on all the historic buildings, lights off the historic courthouse. All the, the downtown poles have Christmas tree wreaths on them. And they do this amazing giant Christmas tree in the center. New Braunfels Utilities, the power company that we have here, sets all this stuff up every single year. And then they close the street and they do the lighting of the tree. And so that'll be coming up here in the next couple of weeks. 
will actually light the tree and the downtown area for the season. And then every single night you can come down here and it's awesome. So many lights, it's twinkling. And the best part is that it's totally free. So New Braunfels downtown, center of events. This is the center of the action. Don't miss these amazing events, especially if this is an area that you're moving to. All right, y'all, so this has been our downtown New Braunfels tour. And again, we didn't get to cover all the great shops, restaurants, dining, entertainment, and more, but we gave you more than enough of a preview of why you need to be here and you need to make New Braunfels your next stop. As always, guys, my name is Chris Marty. And remember, if you're looking to buy or sell real estate anywhere in the greater San Antonio area, New Braunfels area, we will save you a ton of money when you do it through us. Reach out today from my website. And as always, like, subscribe, and follow for more amazing content. We'll catch you next time.